What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about Blue Zell today. At the request of Stana, Stana, we're doing this one for you. What a day. What a day we had yesterday. We moved up like 20%, you guys. Actually, all in all, from like the open to close of that day, I think at one point we were up like 40%. Closing the day around 20%, though. Decent volume on a daily perspective. Let's get this on a USDT chart. Yeah, decent volume. Pretty decent volume. Looks like a breakout day, but the thing is, that's a really big wick. So if we were to chill for a second, that's okay. Maybe we chill around these levels. Pull back to around 36 cents. We're at 38 cents now. Continue to be boring as we were before, and then maybe see our next move up. It's really hard to say. I do think Blue Zell wants to carry on prices to new all-time highs. Oof. Which would be on this chart, actually. New all-time highs. Um, I very much do believe we're going to see a high past this high. But is it going to happen right now? Is it going to happen this week, even this month or next month? I don't think so. I think we're getting there, but we're not quite there yet. This is a bullish structure. I really do like this. Um, every red month you get, you get a bullish engulfing candle the next month. So um, I do think inevitably we will see prices at $1.42 to $3.70 and even higher than that. But for now, we probably just creep and crawl our way up there. You know, Have our, have our moments where we pump like that and then moments where m most of the time we're just kind of moving sideways doing doing nothing exciting. Um, until we do. That's a very, very bullish looking monthly RSI. It's a pretty bullish looking weekly RSI and the daily RSI just got bullish as well. I just don't like the price action. I like the price action. We moved up 20% on a closing basis, but I don't like that wick, but who cares if I like it or not? You know, it, it, it can do fine. But yeah, new all time highs right there. That's the minimum kind of targets. I very much do believe Blue Zell will see prices far beyond this. I'm interpreting, not interpreting, anticipating prices around $100, which from the current price after this pump already at 38 uh, cents here, after this 20% pump as of yesterday, a price of $100 would give us a 200 and 60, almost a 268X from the current price. So I really do think Blue Zell is going to do well if it does half that. Even if it only grows, sorry, I thought I heard some. Even if it only grows half that amount, that's that's still in the over 100x area, right? At like fifty dollars there, to the two six one eight might be like 160x. Maybe we don't move that high. We go to the two two seven two, a very common extension for for the uh, crypto market to hit as well. That would still be like a almost a 59x. So very very good potential even past these like minimum regular expected FIB extensions. I very much do expect to see deeper extensions for this thing. Um, as far as $100, $100 goes, I'm not going to do the math, but the math checks out with the market cap and everything. It's a gaming coin. It's a database storage coin. Um, I think it's got great potential and a niche kind of uh, space in, in like utility for this, this coming cycle. So we'll see. We'll see if, if, if the price action agrees with that, if not, you know, maybe it doesn't go all the way up to $100, but $100, I'm kind of hoping it does, man. I've, I've kind of got, uh, I say kind of, I keep saying kind of. I very much do accept it as a possibility. Um, would I bet money that it's going to $100? No. But would I bet money that it's not going to go to $100? No, I, I wouldn't do that either because I think, I think it really could do that. So um, let's just wait and see how this cycle plays out. We're at 38 and a half cents now, so those are insane numbers that I'm talking about, but um, definitely at least something that would resemble an expected extension based off this move, which would be a dollar forty two to three seventy, somewhere around there. And that's all I got, man. As far as like what the uh, the immediate term does, it's probably gonna be boring. We got our moment, we had our fun in the sun yesterday, and we're we're probably gonna be boring as we have been. You know, any of these days right here. If you look, you know, anything that has a big wick to the upside like this was met by boring afterwards, boring afterwards, boring for a few days and then up, sure, but inevitably back down. Like it just, it was really just a momentary phase of sidewaysness, top, top for a little bit and then we moved up, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm really not too, too excited about it. It could, you know, excite me if it keeps moving up more, but um, at this point in time, I just want to make it clear, I definitely have let go of my... Uh, sub 20 cent price predictions. I, I don't think we're going to get down there anymore. It is possible. It still is possible. I just don't completely uh, think that it's likely anymore. Let's see from this low to high. Yeah. 
I don't know, maybe, maybe 18.6 cents or just below that. We do have this weekly closing high. That wouldn't be crazy at all, but it doesn't have to, man. Blue Zell is just one of those coins where every time I feel like I call for it to go down, it moves up. And, and at that rate, you know, I'm happy because I do own some. I'm happy to own some. I'd like to buy more if it comes down. It is starting to roll over a little bit, but who knows? Maybe it just steals the show. It's really hard to say. Hard to say what it's going to do in the uh, the immediate term, but pretty easy to say or see where it's going to go throughout this cycle. So very, very bullish monthly R side. That's all I got to say. So if you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all for coming, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.